Listen to this. A recent survey by Spectrum Group reveals America has more millionaires than ever before. So is there really a secret formula on how to become one? Local financial expert J.B. Bryan is here to talk about this very topic. Wonderful to see you, J.B. Thanks so much for coming in. It's good to be here, and I'm glad that we're talking about this because the, the point is, is that the millionaire is your neighbor. It's your average. It's your average person. Now we have over 10 million people in America. So we're not talking are, Beverly Hills. No, no, we're not talking Beverly Hills. And it also suggests that maybe a million dollars isn't as much as it used to be, mm -hmm. right? That the so out of that 10 million, over 10 million in America that are millionaires, there's a million of them that have between five and 25 million. That is a lot of dough. Yes. How does one? become a millionaire. Is it a mindset, JB? It is. <laughs> it will be for those of us that have to work for everything, right? But the, uh, the majority of the millionaires actually did have to work for everything. They came from, according to the survey, the majority of them came from working class or middle class households. It was not in inherited as mm -hmm. we like to believe, but they worked for it and they said that the bulk of their wealth came from earned income doing the right thing with the money that they made. With the right thing, meaning investments and maybe saving? Yes, and in, in, investing properly. And if we look at them from an investment perspective, they said that they really followed the philosophy of buy the right thing and hold on to it for the long term. It wasn't like a specific uh, outstanding investment strategy. You know, like about 30% of them said that they did choose the right thing and it worked out for them. But the bulk of the millionaires came from long term investing the right way and developing in the proper portfolio for their risk tolerance. JB, when they said to buy the right thing and hold on to it, is that meaning house, car, and other investments? I'm glad you said that because this definition of a millionaire that we're discussing does not include where you live. Your residential property is not included among the assets that we define here in this survey as a millionaire. You have to pull your residential property out because you live in that. Mm -hmm. It can't create any income for you. That's where you live. So it's talking about, you know, things that would be investments or investment real estate, investment property, stocks, bonds, and everything, all those things outside of your business value, things like that. Tell us about the education of millionaires out of this survey. 90% of these multimillionaires, act, and I'm talking about, there was a survey done on the multimillionaires, so mm -hmm. those with over a million, 90% of them had a college degree. So, and they also said, when they asked these multimillionaires, what did your parents teach you? What were the, the key things that helped you as a child? They said they taught me that education is important, they taught me financial discipline, and they taught me work ethic. So they're, they're saying that it did not come easy to most of these people, that they have to work like we're doing, and it's gonna happen over time if we continue to do the right thing. Those three elements, it's a magic formula. Education, financial discipline, and work. Work your butt off. Tell us about the uh, financial discipline, in terms of what? Well, financial discipline, I like the example of, we can't have everything. I know this summer, I had to explain to my daughter that I, we can't take a vacation if we also want to change the furniture in our home. So I taught her that we have to choose between these things. You wanna go to camp, so we can't do these things outside of the home. We have to have picnics here, <laughs> go outside and enjoy what you have, and, and learning that you have to start early. Also, glad you mentioned that, that these people started early. A lot of them started in their teens saving. In the teens? And at my daughter's high school, they have a credit union. They're teaching them to save early, so you have to save early. And then by their 20s, they were investing. How about knowing the value of money at an early age? Yeah, and the value of money is teaching, is a part of that financial discipline, that you can't have everything, that it takes hard work. When you work for mm -hmm. what you get, you realize that it, if I waste this thousand dollars, do you realize how long it took you to make it? Or when I talk, talk to clients about a lump sum of money, that you cannot waste that lump sum because if you think that this might have taken you 30 years to accumulate, and if you start just wasting it, it's, it's, it's vital that you learn about the tax strategy. So when they ask them, what is your biggest risk as a multimillionaire? What do you see as your biggest risk? They said taxes, that in their investment decisions, they focus more on tax strategies than on actually getting the highest return. That taxes were very important. And they also said divorce. Do you know that the average person, average divorcee, loses about 70%, over 70% of their wealth through a divorce? 
So stay happily married. <laughs> stay happily married. Because most of them yeah. are married and they know the risk of getting a divorce. <laughs> yes, stay happily married. Is it ever too late to try to think and become a millionaire? Because you were saying a majority of them started early. Yes. But what if you're in your 40s? What yes. if you're in your 50s? Yes. And I think in, in that situation, you have to think of generational wealth. You have to think that if I pick up these traits now, no matter what age I am, there's someone watching me, especially mm -hmm. if you have children. So I don't believe that if I take advantage and I benefit from all of my efforts that my next generation will do as well. So most millionaires think in generations. They think in decades, they think forward. So we need to think that even if you don't get the benefit of being a millionaire, you are definitely giving the generation the, after you a good head start. Feeling rich already. A good head start, that's right. She is JV Bryant. You're rich, you JV, are. thanks so Thank much. You. Uh, listen, Thank JV you. offers free money seminars, <clears throat> excuse me, every Wednesday at noon and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. in her office at Glen Allen. Pre-registration is required. You can just visit us right there online at WTVR.com slash VTM for a link to more information about this gal's fantastic <laughs> advice. Thanks Thank so much, you. Jamie. Thank you.